and we're back. Sid Meier, Civilization V, Depressed Eeyore, Theodore playthrough. Alright, let's keep going. Oh yeah, something I noticed in um, during my fraps screwing up, I they uh, for some reason I had a, you made a promise with other civs to move your troops from their border and then broke it. I don't recall ever having to make that promise to Montezuma. Oh wait, I see how it is. It's it's because I made the promise to Augustus Caesar and broke it, and that's why it's a negative. Okay, that's cleared up. Also, this other thing I noticed is, um, since I adopted order as a policy and Augustus adopted freedom, um, he doesn't like me. No. I am nowhere near tired yet. My soldiers have dropped simply because I've been using nukes. Also, I did lose a bomber, so that can do it too. Alright. Let's rebase you. It's a bit too far there. Rebase you there. base you here. So yeah, the the, uh, the the islands are close enough that I can actually move my units across the cities like this. So it's a good thing I made these cities here. Yeah, there goes that. The f helicopter I got for free. First things first. Atomic bomb. Nuke mode. Cleaning house. There's an aircraft in that, but in that city. I should have nuked that one. If you nuke a um, city, as you probably noticed that the great general in that city was taken out. If you have aircraft stationed in a place that you just nuked, it uh, it's uh, no longer that you'll lose those aircraft. That's what I did to Lima off um, on the uh, playthrough I messed up uh, that I lost all the footage for. Um, he had a bazillion stealth bombers, and he. 
placed a city right next to mine, or just within range of mine, and moved a bunch of stealth bombers there. So I speed bought a uh, nuke and nuked it and took out all of his uh, bombers. Sure, create a puppet. Why not? I got the happiness. as a fighter. A citadel? That's what you can make with the uh, Greek generals if you care to actually use them. Of course he has nothing stationed there, so it's not really that useful. Rebase. A bit too far, so I'll rebase it here next. So I'm pretty much just leapfrogging my way across. God, it takes too much to move through this stuff. Raise the city. Okay. Oh, awesome. I finally got um, plus one range. Now this thing has a range of four, which is ridiculous. Range of four. Take the city. Raise it. Okay, there you go. I kind of split his uh, country in half. Actually, I've split it into thirds. Alright. by round. I won't take you eat just yet, but I will uh, destroy all your buildings and population so you can't build anything. There we It's down to six population and relatively beat up. Oh cool, I can 
shoot him from here. I don't have visibility. Okay. Do have any more nukes? No, I do not. <clears throat> Alright. Move you forward. Move you into position. Okay, you're pretty beat up, so fortify to heal. Actually, you're all pretty beat up. I probably shouldn't have pushed forward so fast. I didn't realize I was so beat up. Got a decent number of cities. I thought he had a lot more because they AI tends to like cluster all their cities together, but in this case he actually has a lot of widespread ones. Refuse. You generally should make a better deal if you're trying to get some of this stop nuking you. Okay, that was I think that was uh, fighters. Of course, they don't do very much damage. That's why I use bombers instead. Whee! Alright, first things first. Don't I have a great artist somewhere? Yes, I do. Golden Age. progress, not much though. No, oh, that's right, don't want to be next to that. That's my bad. This me upgraded to a helicopter gunship. Whoopee.
Bye, Monty. Thing about rocket artillery is they have three range and they don't need to spend an action setting up. And I just did 249 damage to it. base all the way to here. Neato. At least I used up all the money I got. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, there goes that uh, aircraft. Battleship, battleship, battleship. Sea submarines versus submarines. Interception. Um, destroyers have the ability to intercept with 40% chance. So that could have that could have been what triggered. Um, they're not as accurate. They're not as accurate as the uh, anti-aircraft guns, but they are better than nothing. Social policies. Um, well, we can kind of get anything we want at this point. this away. More bonus cities. Doesn't look like they have much left. Goodbye.
mob și coani! Ac damage because I was right next to the set at all. That was dumb. Alright. I'll you to helicopter gunship. And yeah, we need you to loop around. Visibility, do, do I? Here we go. Yeah, the fallout you can't move as quickly through, apparently. It's a little annoying, but that's okay. Alright, well, let's start moving you guys out. Alright. Yeah, we're pretty much just cleaning things up. I could just go straight for uh, Rome and just nuke it into oblivion, but... Nah, I'll be thorough. Let's keep you busy. Save our game real quick. Okay. Next turn. It's getting a little slow now. Probably because I have the entire map revealed and, um. I've covered everything in Fallout. What are you, got, what are you doing? Just move over that way. Frame rate's really, really bad. One second, guys. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh. 
Any other bombs coming? Yeah, we got another one coming in two turns. Luckily, Tokyo won't be as difficult to take. Tokyo is actually in a really not, not in a very good Our spot. Scientific power. Okay. We're about to have the Hubble tape space uh, telescope. It's pretty much a wonder design for building spaceships. Their missile. Okay. I'll save up my money for it. You can afford to take five till healed. Uh, this is getting raised, so fortify till healed. this thing's at 1 HP before I attack it. Alright, so we'll create a puppet. This is the capital of um, Japan. Okay. And be on alert. You guys can just sit there. I don't need you guys at all. This is a great prophet of Buddhism. So I'm going to delete you. Alright, battleship up. Fortify till healed. Hmm. I'll wait a turn before I start blasting that next place. Okay, pretty good damage. Ah, oh, poor little barbarian trireme has been trapped there forever. I did a little off because I didn't want to blow up my own unit. Okay. Can I buy a guided missile yet? No, I can't. Or not. I can buy a guided missile, but I can't buy a nuclear missile yet.
Awesome, this uh, unit can do indirect fire as well. These ones don't have the plus range yet. Oh well. I don't think he has any units. I haven't seen like I haven't seen a military unit in forever. I'm hoping I can at least show off the uh, nuclear missile and see how that performs. Maybe I'll use it on a realm. It uses up two uranium, so it better be worth it. That's not an enemy unit, that's just a worker. Yeah, he doesn't have a, an army anymore. <laughs> I think I, I, I think I, I mean, I remember seeing some clusters in, initially, but I think I blew them all up with nukes. And then I nuked his cities, which pretty much kills your production. Alright, you go ahead and fortify and heal. You stay there. This is the Darius's capital, so we'll just create a puppet. Okay, bomb this place. Sorry if I'm a little quiet, guys. I'm just I'm pretty much just finishing things up. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get to them yet because the fallout makes uh, movement more difficult. But that's okay. Loop around. Okay, let's we'll 
let's uh, rebase you to this. And we'll send you out. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Got ourselves a nuclear missile. Okay. Blow up this place. Being able to take cities with like with melee uh, naval units definitely makes uh, it a bit easier. That just means you gotta protect yourself from naval units a lot better. You know, things like submarines and stuff, I guess. Well, I guess submarines aren't that good against destroyers, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, go ahead, create a, create a puppet. Heal up. So there's that city's gonna be gone next turn, and I'll leave Rome and Antium left. Yeah, go ahead, heal up, heal up. Yeah, he has zero soldiers. That's amazing. <laughs> as far as literacy is concerned, literacy is concerned, I am I w I'm 18% ahead of him, so that's or, that's 18% ahead in the tree, entire tree, which is pretty. That's a pretty huge lead. Uh, besides that, um, yeah, I'm blowing him away and everything. I mean, he's down to three cities and. Two of them are covered in nuclear fallout. But uh, yeah, I think I killed his initial units and then he was never able to build anymore. I mean, he might have built a few more, or speed bought a few, but I didn't really notice because I nuked his I, I just kept nuking his uh, cities and that just blew up everything. Barbarian Destroyer. <laughs> right now the Barbarians have better units than him. So, do you like us? No. Oddly enough, uh, nuking will only piss off the person you nuke. They don't, it doesn't piss off everyone, which is kind of weird. It's not kind of. It's a little dissimilar from. It's not. That's not the same as the uh, Civ 4, I don't believe. Because I know in Civ 4, if you start nuking, uh, people will not be happy at all. Okay, so I can move to here and nuke this. This is what makes battleships great. They have indirect fire, three range that can go up to four, and then you can just blow. You can even take out cities that are not in, against the coast. It's good stuff. All right, move here. We'll probably have Antium soon, at this rate. You can go to sleep. You can rebase to... Why can't you re... Oh, I guess I, I guess it is too far away. Can I rebase down to here? Yes, I can. Actually, I can rebase all the way to here. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can just go to sleep. Go to sleep. 
Eh. Start moving up the realm, I guess. Sleep. You can stay on alert, so I don't care. You go on alert. You start heading towards realm. Sorry for the frame rate again. Eh, let me go ahead and save. Uh, one moment, guys. There we go. Yeah, okay, I see what's doing it. It's all this smoke and fallout and stuff. It really kills the frame rate, apparently. So I apologize. Uh, look away, look away. Just look away. Don't look directly at it. Alright. Bomber. Airstrike. Let this do its thing. raise it. Just so I don't have to see it anymore. Uh, lag. Go down here. Fortify to heal. Fortify. Fortify. As for you, go back here. I don't care. These are mobile SAMs. They have, they do more damage to helicopters and air, uh, aircraft. And then this just, they're pretty much just an, uh, improved versions of anti-aircraft guns. Okay, promote unit. use the tanks since I have them. Fortify, fortify. City. All right, all we got left now is Rome. Let's uh, save our game, and we'll test out the power of the nuclear missile. Those are bombers, not nuclear missiles. Don't I 
have another carrier coming, carrying stuff. Yes, I do. Still a little too far. Okay, that's fine. Well, here's a nuclear missile. I kind of want to see what it does. Whoa, hello. No explosion? I am disappointed. Where's my explosion? Come to think of it, where... Well, it blew up everything, um... And it... Did... A lot of... It pretty much took seven population out over half its life. Fun stuff. Bombers are pretty much dead, but they'll do a little bit of damage. There you go, that's the power of na uh, the Navy, aircraft, nukes, everything. Come to think of it, I pretty much showed off everything except for the uh, mounted units, which they suck, so, um, yeah. And I even showed off the religion, showed off spies. This is a very, I, I have to say this is pretty thorough for an uh, introduction to, these, uh, to this new expansion. Um, overall, I, I like it. It improves a lot of the stuff. It expanded. It gives it a little bit more depth. What they did with the trees, a lot, the uh, tech trees, a lot better. It seems to take a lot longer to get things done, which is good because it used to be get to you get far. Well, you get the AI is a lot better. Um, they might not still be that great at combat, but they at least keep up with me pretty good. Um, I mean, of course, I, I'm in the lead now, but that's because I have a ridiculous amount of cities and stuff like that. And now it's through a lot of work. I mean, fighting Bismarck was very difficult, and uh, I had to actually pull back a few times simply because of the rough terrain I had to go through it in the early game. But um, originally I was going to play this as like a passive character, because Theodora is not designed for military, really. Um, she has her special ability involves religion, and her two uh, special units are early, early game units. One of them is a naval coastal unit, which is not that good. And the other was a was a horseman, which also was not that good. It was better than a regular horseman, but not much better. Um, overall, if you I'm, I'm if you like Civ Five, you're gonna like this expansion, I think. Um, if you don't like Civ Five, you're one of those people that are on Civ Fanatex that are constantly talk, talking about how the AI sucks in Civ Five. Uh, you won't like the game, which is funny because Civ Four AI isn't that good. <laughs> in fact, it's actually worse. But uh, whatever, that's for those people. I like this game, even though they consider even people, even though people say this is like a dumbed down version of Civ. This is there's a difference between dumbed down and accessible, and this is more accessible than dumbed down. Though, of course, you know, anytime I hear a game developer say accessible, I generally think the the worst as well. So I don't blame them. Yeah, 
can't sleep. Alert. I don't really need your nukes anymore. Hmm, thousand gold. Um, I noticed that the, um, the way you can do, um, it used to be if you had, uh, to do the, sorry, I'm getting all tongue-tied. So to get a golden age, you usually have to get it through happiness or by sacrificing a number of, um, great people, like one or two of them or something like that. But it seems to be that um, the great artist's special ability now is a golden age, and it doesn't seem to reduce every time. Like, I've, I used uh, I used about three artists this game, and each time I had about 12 days, uh, twelve uh, turns of golden age, so it didn't, I, I don't think it was reducing at all. It's either that or it resets or something. But, um, I don't mind it. It gives more use for the great artists, for people that don't want to do a culture victory. Um, so it's kind of neat. It's very flexible. As you can see, I've been, I, I was able to use a variety of things, uh, of uh, different combat units, as opposed to just, you know, siege and one melee unit. I mean, there was a few times where I did only have one melee unit, but I also had things like archers, crossbows, machine gunners, stuff like that. So I, I don't know. I, hopefully you guys liked it. Um, I certainly enjoyed it. I was actually intending this to be a passive game, but like I said, I got I got declared on, and then I kind of just became friends with Bismarck um, for a while. Of course, you never really become good friends with Bismarck because he's just gonna kill you. But um, he was the only person that kind of liked me until I kind of you know killed him. But, uh, as always, nukes are very devastating. The, the most devastating part is the fact that it leaves Fallout, and if you, like I said, if you have Fallout, you can't, you can't use the tile. It also pillages everything, too. Not that that matters, because pillage or not, you can't use whatever has Fallout on it. So even as it was getting uh, population back, probably due to buildings or something, it had, the, the, uh, the workers had no, the uh, population had no place to work. So it's pretty much screwed until you get a worker out to uh, clean it all up. Is this another nuke? No, these are bombers. Sorry guys, a lot of turns. There we go. But all the tweaks, like uh, doing 100 HP instead of 10 HP, was a good change. It makes it so um, those who have, do put forth the effort to get a tech lead do, do, uh, have a little bit, even more of an advantage over the opponent. Which I guess some people might say that's bad, but really it's not awful. I mean, if you're at the point where you're only doing one damage to a unit because of the uh, difference of attack power, you probably have some. You probably were doomed to uh, to begin with. Whoa! Well, lots of new abilities. Uh, evasion. Well, just one additional attack per turn. Are you serious? And air repair. Like, I've never actually seen a lot of these upgrades because, like I said, um, I never really need to use them. Um, I don't buy barracks and stuff, so I don't get a lot of level ups. But in this case, logistics, additional attack per turn. Let's use it. So yeah, I just attack twice with the same unit. That's neat. I never knew it had moves like that. I don't know if that's a new upgrade or not. Yep, here it comes. There we go. Has no HP left. Goodbye. Whoa. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Dancer, actress, empress, victor. Whatever that means. Dei favore maroma revocaverunt. The world has been convulsed by war. Many great and powerful civilizations have fallen, but you have survived and emerged victorious. The world will long remember your glorious triumph. So there you go. Um, like I said, I only had a little bit of difficulty in the beginning. Um, the, the continent we were on was pretty crowded. I think we had, what, four neighbors? Uh, we had Bismarck, um, Pakal, um, Adolphus, and uh, Monty. 
So yeah, we had four neighbors. So there was five civs on one continent, and then the others, uh, then there were three on the other. And um, Rome took over his continent, and I took over mine. But overall, I was I was still in the lead because of you know wonders and stuff like that. And I had a lot more cities than him, and a lot better cities than him. So I just eventually just out teched him. Um, I, I could have waited as long as I want. I could have just went space. I could have went I could have went um, culture if I really wanted to. Um, he had no real way to um, take me on, unless he went and got nukes himself, which I wasn't going to allow him to do. But uh, there you go. That's the main menu. Overall, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, as for the next game, obviously I'm going to probably be working on a few Let's Plays, because I'm right now on only Part 2 as far as... Um, as of recording this, I believe Part 2 is up on the uh, site, as well as Part 11, but that's on private because I was testing it out with the... Um, the uh, weird changes that uh, Windows Movie Maker did. But there you go. Um, that was Theodora. Um, she gets one more belief than normal when you found a religion. Um, that one belief is definitely very huge as far as reli the religion mechanics go. Because all you have to do is get that extra range, and then you can um, well, you can get you can make it so it spreads faster, and then you get it to um, then you get. When you upgrade, you get the uh, expanded rage, and then pretty much your uh, religion will just dominate that continent. Um, and once you spread it into other places, it's really hard to get rid of. So yeah, the religion is pretty awesome in this game. It's um, it has it has a little bit for everyone. You can be combat if you want. You can do it where um, you do holy war or whatever it's called, and or holy crusaders or something like that. And you can use your reli uh, your religion to um, buy early game units, early era units, and um, so yeah, it has stuff for combat, has stuff for culture, has stuff for science. The science stuff is kind of meh, but um, really I, I like taking advantage of it, of the uh, the happiness buildings you can get and the free culture buildings you can get. Um, that Because I always have trouble keeping up my happiness, especially once everyone starts hating me and they won't trade anything to me. But uh, yeah, I like that. You can edit it? Oh, I can name it. But there you go. Uh, there's a lot of civilizations to pick from now. Um, um, I did play as Elizabeth um, with a, in a game with Limu, and it, I absolutely slaughtered uh, my continent because of longbowmen, and then they became two ranged Gatling guns. And then, of course, I had, you know, Ship of the Nine. Um, the extra spy is kind of useful. It means once you hit, um, whenever someone hits Renaissance area, you start out with two spies, which means you can have one on defense and one on offense. Um, towards the end, though, you'll probably just have an extra spy for um, si uh, dealing with city-states. Um, only other person I'm kind of interested in is, um, could spend gold to annex or pop it in ally city-states. I'm kind of interested about the diplomatic marriage. Other than that, um, well, there, I mean, there's a lot of these unique things. I, I don't mind them at all. Especially this one where I can trade away my luxury resources. There seems to be a lot more um, unique ships, though they're not that great, to be honest. I mean, most of them are coastal ships, and I really don't like coastal ships because they're just way too limiting. Uh, if the coast was just a little bit bigger, like a little bit wider, so you can actually get around stuff, um, I, I would I would probably tolerate it a lot more. But uh, there you go. That was the um, my first single-player playthrough of. Um, Gods and Kings as uh, Theodora. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will go ahead and take suggestions for the next Civ, and you can suggest a victory condition. Um, I'll have all the vict victory conditions open, but um, I'll try to do whatever is suggested. Um, beyond that, I'll probably stick with the continent map, because I, I like continent map. It's pretty cool. Um, and lately, the uh, continents have been pretty... It used to be they were kind of just really basic, but it seems like now they're a little bit more unique. I don't know. It could just be the city-states that are just kind of shaping it a little bit uh, different. But um, there you go. I am Theodore Press Dior, and this was Sid Meier's Civilization V, Gods and Kings, Theodora playthrough. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And like I said, uh, leave your suggestions in the uh, comments, and um, I'll see about starting a new game once I see a few suggestions. See you guys.